Okay, welcome back to my Let's Play of the Elder Scrolls IV Oblivion. Last time we went through uh, the ruin, uh, the the Alien ruins of Markarkarnd or something like that, which took the entire video. Uh, it was a lot of work. There was some bone magi in there. They had a bone up my ass, and uh, it was tricky, but we did it. We got the Great Welkin Stone. And so now the final ingredient that we need to get into Mankar Cameron's uh, plane, or whatever, his paradise, um, is a great sigil stone from a great gate of oblivion. And so we're here to convince... The Queen of Bruma, or the Countess of Bruma, um, to allow the the Daedra, uh, the Daedric forces, to open a great gate outside of her city, so, that, so we can go into it. You ain't gonna like it. Desperate plan indeed. This prince, emperor, Martin would risk my whole city to gain a great sigil stone. Oh, it's a whole lot dumber than that. This is the only way to stop this invasion from oblivion? I must confess, you are the first person to speak of victory against these Daedra. This war seemed hopeless to me, but what else was there to do but hold on and wait for a hero to arise to save us? And now it's Yeah, that's that's great. I'm I'm glad the people of Cyrodiil are so <laughs> and perhaps a hero as well. So passive and weak. They just have to say, oh, we'll just wait for some hero to save our asses. You avoid answering my question. Very well. Don't think I doubt you. The rulers of Bruma have long had dealings with Cloud Ruler Temple. We know whom they serve. I will meet Martin at the chapel. When all is ready, I will order my men to stop closing the gates and prepare for battle. Good. Glad to hear it. Okay. So we're going to go to the chapel then. Okay. Uh, when I am ready for battle, I should inform the countess. At the... At the chapel or here? Probably at the chapel. I'm going to the chapel... Uh, so, in my spare time, uh, I remembered that one mod that I downloaded that I've not done anything with, and that was the special magic mod that added all these new spells to Oblivion. Um, it's a bit more in-depth than I thought it would be, actually. Um, for one, well, I mean, I knew there were a lot of spells, but there is an ass-ton amount of spells. Like a hundred or something like that it, it's a crazy amount of spells added um and you you can't buy them you have to earn them and the way you do that is by combining ingredients in this special machine uh every spell requires a gold nugget which is not easy to find there aren't that many in the game but you can actually they have a another machine in there in the building that you can break down items to get gems out of them so you can take any sort of gold item anything that says gold in it even like gold trimmed shoes and you can put it in there and get a gold fragment out of it and three gold fragments you can combine into a gold nugget because um, every spell requires one when you're ready for battle yeah, I'm ready for battle. Allow, according to the plans you captured from the Great Gate, will allow them to bring up. Yeah, yeah, okay. Only hope to get. I mean, is she on her way? Do we have to wait for her? I'll go look. Um. Oh, there she is. So you know, the great, the uh, the golden nuggets. That's one thing. That's not a huge problem. The the other ingredients that you need range from sometimes really sort of benign, normal stuff that you can find here and there. But a lot of it, especially the good ones, 
uh, are unique materials specific to the mod that you have to do like special thing you have to you have to fight like in an astral plane I, I, I didn't really understand it it's not I didn't really look into it um, but it's not easy so but what you can do is there's a use a console command you can do to just give you all the spells which is what I did not right now I was just testing um, there is some really, really cool shit in there. Like, you can summon a Balrog, you can have, like, volcanoes come up, and tsunamis, and, like, spinning tornadoes, and whirlwinds of rocks, uh, meteors, and, and you can summon angels. There's so much crazy shit in there. You can, you can shoot a nuclear bomb. With a mushroom cloud, it's crazy. Some of the, most of the stuff I found was really overpowered, because I was just wiping out. I summoned the fucking Balrog. It like it single-handedly wiped out like the entire council of the Arcane University without breaking a sweat, and then it turned on me and killed me. So it's it's hostile to you as well. But first, it killed every other thing in sight indiscriminately without breaking a sweat it was nuts uh there was a lot of stuff that just seemed kind of overpowered um and then the stuff that wasn't overpowered seemed sort of weak for like level three characters um so i'm not going to use any of it uh for my playthrough I'm, we're going to do normal but uh it's really crazy if you play oblivion on pc you should probably check it out um let me just get the it's the midas Midas Magic. Um, let me get the. Let me just see if that's the actual uh, name of it. Yeah, Midas Magic Spells of Orum is what the Oblivion mod is, and apparently there's one for Skyrim. I don't know. Maybe we'll look into that as well. Maybe not. I mean, again, it seemed kind of overpowered, but really cool. I will call out my militia if necessary, but must we truly stand alone? I don't think we can survive the Daedric onslaught. You'll be fine. Let the battle begin. So be it. Groomer's fate is in the hands of the gods now, and yours. We'll be fine. Bird, deploy the troops for battle. Hey, Bird! Bird's great. He'll, he'll kick ass. He's immortal. So, I was reading about the, the, the quest here. Because I like to read. Sue me. Sue me! Um, we have 15 minutes once we get into the Oblivion Gate to close it. 15 minutes real time. Uh, yeah, there is a timer, I guess. Although it seems kind of odd the way they handled it, the timer. But anyways. Uh, so this shouldn't take that long. <laughs> Under 15 minutes. Um, and before you go into the Bolivian Gate, Martin actually does not have plot armor. He can die while he's fighting outside of the gate. And the game can end. You can get like a game over or something. Um, which shocked me to be honest. I, I wouldn't thought that was possible. Um, which makes the fact that he's fighting even more retarded. Uh, <laughs> the fact that he can die. Like, we don't need you, Martin. You're a monk that's dressed up in pretty armor that doesn't do anything. The armor of Tiber Septum doesn't do anything. It's just basic heavy armor. And he doesn't have, like, some cool magical weapon. He doesn't have spells. He doesn't have anything. He is literally just, like, a peasant. That happens to be, like, you know, has the fate of the world in his hands. If this was a D&D &D campaign and you you knew that this guy was, like, essential for saving the world. Like, no question about it. There was nothing else that would work except this guy. You <laughs> would not throw some heavy armor on him and send him into the front of the battle with you. All right? He would be in like a like some stone coffin that you hauled around whenever necessary. Other than that, like he would not see anything. He would just be comatose, pretty much. 
Especially if he's the type of person that wants to charge into battle. Then, absolutely. Tied and gagged. So that's uh, that's Boromir's version of like Aragorn's speech, but it's it's not quite as good. So yes, we are uh, we are killing stuff. We have Spider Daedra here, which I'm pretty sure this is a new model, uh, very freaky model if you ask me. Real freaky. Look at that shit. Jesus Christ. Although, anyways. Um, so yeah, I, I made a new save there just in case uh, Martin ends up dying. I hope, look at him! He's got like some little dagger! <laughs> Jesus. Oof, I died. See, I can't die either, because I'm the fucking hero of Kavach. I shouldn't be here either. But I have to be here, so. Uh, so another thing, why, <laughs> so, instead of, uh, recharging my staff with, uh, soul gems, uh, <laughs> I just messed around with cool magic spells and summoned balrogs and nukes. Um, so yes, that, that was definitely a mistake on my part. They do a pretty good job of mobbing things down, I guess. Although, we'll see. And we got a bunch of spider daedra, and holy shit. They, they sort of focus on me. They definitely have a little bit of a... a hate on for me. So, I kind of need to just avoid damage. Let them worry about dishing it out. I'll avoid it. But I'll kill a spider when I see one. Alright, Martin's still good. I have no way of healing uh, a friendly target, so... Whoa, that dude's got a big ol' hammer. I don't even recognize... I, I don't even know what this is. I don't even remember the spiders. I don't remember any of that. I have to look to see what these things looked like originally. That's a Daedric Lord, holy shit. What's he got? Oh, he died. Uh, there's a lot of enemies here. I, I hope you guys are ready. The third Oblivion Gate is open. Jesus, those hungers. I should probably, um... What the fuck? Giants and their mammoths? Why? From oblivion or from just nearby? <laughs> Martin's definitely dead. Oh, I'm dead. What the fuck was that? So, yeah, like, I don't know... I honestly, I don't remember. I don't remember how hard this was or anything like that, or how leveled up I was, how good my shit was. I want to say last time I played this game, I probably also just focused on the main quest because I felt like I never beat it. Um, so I, I just, I don't know how much the overhaul and the, the leveling and the, the mod differences are changing the difficulty. I just don't know. All I know is I, I can't really participate in this battle. This is nuts. 
Bring on that great gate. I'll handle that. That's my job. Oh my god. This does not look good for the forces of Bruma. Dude, this dude is just... Usain bolting me. Oh my god. Can I go through this gate? I hope so. Okay. Oh, cool. Let's enhance our speed. Where am I going? What am I doing? Oh, okay. Right there. Alright. So, we're on a time limit. This is speed run tactics. Ah. Um. Yeah, they recommended uh, invisibility for this, which I can understand. Uh, <laughs> that's that's actually what I was originally going to the Arcane University to get uh, was to make an invisibility spell, and then I remembered the Midas magic, and so I got really distracted. So that's a, that's a bummer. Problem is, I don't know exactly where to go. I gotta be heading over there, right? Oh, I don't. I still don't have a slow fall, do I? I think I had the option of buying it several times, and I passed by it. Slow fall would be really cool. I'm pretty sure I can't survive that fall, so... It's alright. We don't need it. We're fast. Make it in plenty of time. Ooh. Ooh. Um... Okay, good. Quick save. Whoa! Can't catch me, I'm the gingerbread man. I don't know which one I'm going through. I died. I think it was that tower that killed me. Like, which one of these is... I think it's that one, right? It's, it's that one. That's the bigger one. I'm gonna summon little imps to stop me. Uh, no. I mean, this is, this, this is a war gate. There's gotta be some way to open that. Twelve minutes to close great gate. Uh, let me just see. Let me just see. Uh, blah, 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 okay. Main towers are in front of the far side, okay. Blah, blah, blah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, huh? Okay. Going through the caves? Why would I go through the caves? Okay, I think I have to go through the tower. Okay, we're just gonna go through the tower. Even though there's not a bridge that spans that, so... Not sure what that entails. Save. That's what we do. Oh, we got 12 minutes. That's that's an eternity. Oh. Hey there. Oh, hey there. Uh, there doesn't seem to be a way out of this, this area unless this does something. Gate control. Okay, I'm gonna assume. I'm gonna assume that's what I need to hit to open that gate. Okay, we're gonna have to do some dodging. Make no mistake. We'll 
doing speedrun tactics. Quick save. Get out of your scam. Don't you know where we are? We're in a great gate. That did not open. Oh, that that did it. Quick save. Whoop. All right, we got plenty of time, right? Shit, they follow you through. I forgot about that. I hope there's no nothing I have to kill in order to get a key, cause it, cause that would suck. Yeah, I know about that. Okay, that almost killed me. Okay, now I'm dead. Where am I going? This is a dead end. Now I'm dead. Yes. Okay. We're, it's just, it's a learning process. I realize now when I said 15 minutes, that's foolish because that's 15 minutes in one go. And we are certainly not doing this in one go. Oh, that's what I ran through. That hurts. What the frickin' demon dragon shits? Which way is the right way? An eternal question. Ah. You'd think it would be straightforward. Maybe it's straightforward and right. This also does not. This is not it. There's nothing. It is also a dead end. So maybe. What else didn't. I didn't go this way. This seems right. Okay. How was I supposed to know? All right, so far so good. Not today. Ten minutes, I can probably handle that. I can handle that no problem. Showing? Ow. What do you got for me? Shit. But what do you got for me? Also shit. Alright, but the re- it's not even here. Alright, well. Screw it! Uh-oh, this man's gonna kill me. Uh-oh. Oh. Sorry, buddy. Well, that was pretty good. That was, well, speedrunner-esque, I would say, with finger quotes. Jesus Christ, <laughs> there's just, what the fuck? Uh, did we win? Martin, what are you, Martin, Martin! Martin, you're okay. We won a great victory here today. We now have the means to recover the Amulet of Kings from Manka Cameron. But we need to act quickly. 
Cameron will not take long to recognize his danger. Remember, the portal closes behind you. Anything you need, carry it with you. I'll have the ritual ready in the Great Hall when you arrive. Farewell. Sure thing, buddy. Farewell, my friend. The Great Hall at the Temple. The ta Temple. Ta temple. Yes. Which is with a mark and a recall. I'll beat you there, Martin. Even though I probably won't. Um, yeah, so, <laughs> so that one was pretty easy because I could do it without killing anything. I don't know about this one. I haven't really looked into it, but what are the odds I'm not going to have to kill anything? Did I actually beat him here? Did I actually beat him here? I wouldn't have thought it possible. Yeah, I beat him here. Well, we can wait. Uh, let me look at my staff here. It's got zero uses, and we have precisely zero souls. Hmm, that's, uh, hold on, this would give me 40 HP? Uh, fortify health, 40 points. Okay. I, I guess, am I wearing a necklace? Probably. But we'll throw it on there. Oh, I must enter a valid name? Okay. Um... Oh, the backpack, right. Well, I mean, if we're just doing main quest stuff, we're not picking up anything. That's better. Because at 40 points, I was at 140-ish. I mean, that's... a. Decent, that's like a 25% boost or something like that around there. Uh, the other thing that I have is this, which... I mean, it can't hurt, right? Uh, we can put that on my stupid-looking helmet that I've had the whole game. <sighs> I don't care. Cool. Might as well, right? Shouldn't take more than an hour to get back here. I was right. Oh, right. Um, yeah, all right. All right, all right, all right. We will... I'll take the little bit of time here to recharge my staff a bit. Uh, what we want to do is summon a Ballywog. We want to just put that there. So we'll summon it. We'll soul trap it. And we kill it. It makes kind of a really sad sound <laughs> when you do that. Um, let me just check. Okay, it puts it into Azura Star, so we have to do that every time. But it shouldn't take too many sequences. Um, you know, the Ballywog is really weak, but surprisingly it gives a common soul to him. It gives a common soul, um, which is pretty decent. All right, so I bumped it up to 28 uses. I guess we'll do one more. We'll do one more. A weird little squeak sound. Is 
as he just accepts his death. Alright, so now it's at 38 uses, which should be more than enough. I have everything in place for the ritual. I'll open the portal whenever you're ready. I don't know what you'll find in Cameron's paradise. I do know the portal I create through the Mysterium Xarxes ritual will close behind you. You'll have to find another way back. I believe that Manka Cameron acts as the anchor for paradise, just as a sigil stone anchors an oblivion gate in place. Kill Manka Cameron, and you will unmake his paradise. Shall I open the portal to paradise? Are you ready? Won't that just leave me in like some endless void or something like that? Bring back the amulet of kings. Brace yourself. Whoa. All right, here we go. If we do this quick enough, maybe we can wrap up the game today. That's exciting, because then I get to do the uh, the three-day process of modding Skyrim. Look at this. Oh. Well, that doesn't look like a paradise, but, you know, he, he started. So, the cat's paw of the Septims arrives at last. You didn't think you could take me unawares, here of all places, in the paradise that I created. Maybe. Look now upon my paradise. Gaia Alata in the old tongue, a vision of the past and the future. Uh huh. Behold the savage garden where my disciples are tempered for a higher destiny. To rule over Tamriel Reborn. If you are truly the hero of destiny, as I hope, the garden will not hold you for long. Shit. Lift your eyes to Kerek Agayala, my seat at the pinnacle of paradise. I shall await you there. There's some. Oh, that's water? Dude, there's some graphical shit happening <laughs> right over there. So, yeah, I don't actually know where to go. But, uh, I know that we don't really want to fight anything. You destroyed the Sigil Tower at Ganona. My kin say you fought well. Wow. This seems like about as anime as the Elder Scrolls series has ever gotten. And I guess I, don't, I can't judge it too much because it could be modded. But that voice ain't modded. Uh, I've never heard of it. Our clan sacked your city of Kavach, a trifling task fit for scamps. Your swift retribution earned you much respect among my people. We had not expected that a mortal would act with such resolution and honor. It is no dishonor for us to speak. Sounds like Shredder from the Ninja Turtles movie. Uh, I see Minecar Cameron. You speak directly, like one of my people almost. I'm glad I did not kill you immediately. What do you want? There is but one way out of the garden. I guard that path. You will travel that path, and it will bring me honor to defeat you. But you shamed my kin at Kanona to bring you into my service. That would also bring me honor. So I offer you a choice. Would you confront me in battle? Or offer me service? Ah, uh, service. An intriguing choice. And I have a task in mind that will test your wit and your loyalty. The rabble of the Savage Garden have imprisoned the Zivili Anaxes. I consider his humiliation a fitting punishment. However, his shame... Yeah, I can't listen to his voice anymore. Uh, we're gonna kill him anyways. 
Okay. <clears throat> How tough could this guy possibly be, right? Actually, well, I assume I need the key, right? That's what he said. Uh, even I, I doubt it's a very hard lock. I'm sure you need the key. Or you can walk in. I must need the key for something. What news from Tamriel? I hear the voice. That weird graphical glitch. What is going on with that? All right, so let's uh, let's load my last quick save. So we'll kill him. We'll get the key. We'll run through there. And it'll all be good. Holy shit! I expect you to be way more powerful than that. What the? F Why are you wearing this? Oh, do I have to? That must be how you get into the thing. How little you understand. You cannot stop Lord Dagon. Hmm. The principal. We'll see about that. Many are their names and the names of their masters. The Cold Harbor of Meridia, Periite's Quagmire, the Ten Moon Shadows of Mithala, and. and Dawn's Beauty. The Princedom of Lorcon, misnamed Tamriel by deluded mortals. Uh huh. It's a cool story. Actually, that is kind of interesting. I didn't know that. Um. So let's throw on the bands of the chosen. Perfect. Now, any monster chasing me should not be able to go through that door, right? Because. <laughs> that would be ridiculous. Oh, I can't take him off. Well, shit. Then we'll just yes. have to be real fast. Now. Tamriel is just one more Daedric Who? realm of oblivion. Long since lost to its prince when he was betrayed by... You wear the bands, but you're no prisoner. Who are you? What are you doing here? Well, uh... uh I'm here to kill... Can you really do it? Can you bring this eternal nightmare to an end? Can you defeat Mankar Cameron and free all the souls of the poor fools who followed him? Listen, I can help you. You need my help if you are ever to leave the Forbidden Grotto. Why would you help me? I was at the sack of Kvach. They had no chance. We took them by surprise, and we carried the walls in the first assault. But they fought on anyway, desperately. They seemed to think this decadent, mundane world of theirs was worth defending. I was slain after the battle was over. Three <laughs> townsfolk hiding in the cellar attacked me when I entered their house, hunting down survivors. You died? They tore me to pieces, although I have no doubt they were immediately killed by my companions. I've had plenty of time to ponder my deeds since I came here. Ponder and regret. An eternity of regret. For my weakness, the Master sent me here to torture my former comrades who showed similar ingratitude for his gift of eternal life. How can you help? No one wearing the bands of the Chosen can leave this grotto. The doors will not open, and there is no other way out. I can remove them, but I will need time. The Dremora Overseer will be here any minute to check up on me. You need to play along until he leaves. Just act like a prisoner, and do as I say. Once Orthe leaves, we can find a quiet spot to remove these bands. Good. Follow me, and don't worry. You can trust me. Yeah, I mean, there's a whole horde of them. Lord Dagon cannot be Maybe not. Tamriel, his okay. birthright. He comes to liberate the occupied lands. Yes, I am prisoner. What's going on? A prisoner sent in by. Show me some respect, worm, and 
unless you want to end up in the cages with them. Come on, show them yes, some respect. Me, sir. This prisoner was sent in by Cathetet for questioning. I was about to begin. This is not one of Mankar Cameron's chattels from the garden. Who is he? Nothing escaped your vigilance, Kin B. Cathetet wondered as well. This is why he sent him for questioning. Well, carry on. Of course, Kinby. Prisoner, into the cage now. Prisoner, get in the cage. But of course. Prisoner, into the cage. Yeah, I heard you the first two times. I think you kind of close that in my face. All right. Well, see, there's lava down there. I don't. Uh, I don't know. If that's a good idea. I'm a little weak to fire, so this could hurt. It's like the Temple of Doom, except I'm cooler. There's no way for me to cross, but the Master's immortality does have its uses. I will distract the Dramora for as long as I can. Why? Why are you shouting? What? I thought... What? Okay. Where the fuck am I going, man? Did he die? He died. Did they... He didn't remove my bands. Something got fucked. Watch out. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Something... Something's not right. He... I don't think he's supposed to die. Otherwise, how do I get this off? Um... Yes, okay, I did that. If you kill Ortha, you can also... I don't know, I have to reload though. Um, not because he died, he's immortal, so he'll come back. Uh, but I don't want to be under attack. So... Uh, yeah, we're literally just going to wait for him. Although that scares me. I don't want to go that way. I think I'm supposed to wait. I don't want to kill <laughs> all these things. Even with the staff, that would be a big pain in the ass. Come on, man. I mean, is he fighting all of them? What is happening? I guess I could try and fight them with him. <laughs> Whoops. I mean, the staff is good. So. Okay, I got the key. Can I remove him? No. Only he can do it because he's a, he's a special wizard dude. You ain't dead yet? You're gonna be. Alright, get back up, man. Hey. Hey, now. You get on up. I mean, it said he's immortal. If if he doesn't get up, 
I can't leave. If I can't leave, game over. Come on, man. Should I wait? Should I rest? I don't think I can rest. I'd have to kill out things. Okay, maybe I can rest. Do I save before the rest? Would that be wise? Well, let's make a separate save. Okay, he did not get back up after an hour. Should I be really concerned at this point? He's still not up. Let me check. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Uh, okay, it doesn't really mention it. Um, the only thing that I can think of is that there's still a fight going on or something. I mean, there are sounds occurring. Is that from him because he's just taking fire damage constantly? Can I, like, rescue him? Oh, that's that guy. Here, I'll save you, buddy. Oh, that dropped him in. Well, it was your turn anyways. Um, okay, so... I need to do some bit more research into this because I don't think this is... It said that these guys, like this guy is also supposed to stand back up. And it doesn't seem like anything is happening. So... Let me, let me look. We have to do a bit more research. Okay, we can we can do a console command. It's it's pretty much the same result. I I don't know what's going on with this. It doesn't seem right to me. So remove item. Uh, it's a it's a combination of of numbers and um, letters and. Um, I apparently can't remember stuff in my brain, so, okay. There we go. Done and done. So now we should be able to move on and... Oh, shit. It's freaking spider demon. Stupid sexy spider. Um, yeah. I don't know what the deal was. I don't know if it was some mod conflict or if it's just some glitch that happens. I want to say mod conflict because the site did not even mention them not reviving. And they mentioned a bunch of other glitches. So. Nice. Yeah, that's cool. You stay here. Uh-oh. What the... F that's bad. This isn't where I came in. Oh. You know what? You know what? 
I think I wasn't supposed to remove him yet. I think that's what it was. I wasn't supposed to remove him yet. Um, because the the grotto goes on for a little longer, so I can't travel between the grotto if I don't have the bands of the chosen. So we just have to instead of remove item, add item. Okay. All right, we're doing we're doing some strange things here. There you go. We'll we'll get through it. We'll get through it. Thank goodness for the console. Oh shit. Oh man, that was him. <laughs> okay. Um I don't know if I can be blamed for that. All right. How was I supposed to know he would wake up over here? You made it. I didn't think you'd have any trouble. Let's get these bands off you. There. You're not a prisoner of the Forbidden Grotto any longer. Let me come with you. Let me help you kill Mankar Kamarin. I am not without power. Sure. I am no match for Mankar Kamarin, but perhaps together we can find a way to defeat him. Lead on. All right. It, it all worked out in the end. We, we made it work. Well done, champion. Your progress is swift and sure. Perhaps you will reach me after all. Yeah, perhaps, asshole. You think I mock you? Not at all. In your coming, I hear the footsteps of fate. You are the last defender of decadent Tamriel. I am the midwife of the little oh. dawn. Tamriel Come on, I got stuck in a freaking I welcome you if you truly are the agent of fate. I tire of the self-styled heroes who set themselves in my path only to prove unworthy in the event. Yeah, you're so badass and awesome and cool and you're the greatest and blah blah blah. I've heard some villain speech before. Like I said, there's really no benefit whatsoever for me fighting these things. I can level up my destruction, which makes my spells cost a little cheaper. Not much. Uh, and that lets me get access to new spells, but... Mm, I don't think I really need it at this point in the game. I have my staff. <laughs> That's really the most important. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that guy died somewhere in there. Even though he's immortal, but... Maybe he'll show up. He, he has a habit of showing up around different places. Here we go. Should I just blast him? You did not expect to see me again, did you? You have no grasp of the power that my father has at his command. Who are you? You think you can stop us? Soon, Mehrun's Dagon will walk upon Tamriel for the first time since the Mythic Age, and our victory will be complete. Come. My father is waiting to welcome you to Karak Agayalor. Should I even talk to him? Oh, no. We're not talking. He's dying. That was... No, that was... Okay, that was not him. That was just a similar-looking man. Ring of Fire Shield, nice. Staff of Storms. Wow, look at how garbage that thing is. Get a real staff, lady. Speaking of which, how many uses I got left here? Seven. Well, if he takes more than seven hits from this, that's impressive, although I do tend to miss. But that's what quick loads are for. Here we go now. I have waited a long time for you, 
champion of old Tamriel. Hey, you we still call it Tamriel around here. Age. You breathe the stale air of false hope. How little you understand. You cannot stop Lord Dagon. Stop the this. Our worlds are crumbling. The <sighs> All right, he's got reflect. So, we'll just start with dispel. <laughs> And then we'll get into it. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Uh dispel other. That did not work. Maybe we'll use it a couple times. Maybe it dispelled me. You were the last gasp of a dying age. There we go. That worked. Oh, he recast it. Shit. Okay, so... Okay, so... I think that worked. Alright, 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 alright. So pretty much we have to... So we have a quick save after he's been dispelled. So we're gonna hit him... Okay, we need to hit him twice, because we can do it twice before he recasts it. Once he recasts it, we have to... It's going to be tricky. <laughs> uh, spell Reflect is very tricky. And it's, especially with the graphical, all the graphical effects, it's really hard for me to tell if I've done it or not. Ah. Hmm. When I when I do quick load here, right here, sometimes it. Oh, they came back. Shit, now they're all immortal, so I don't know what I'm doing. <sighs> Got him. Level 13. Quick save. Well, that was fortunate. <laughs> Amulet of Kings, well, thank you. Ooh, look at that. I'll take those robes, those seem pretty good. You are a naked man now. I will sit on your throne as your world cl Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Not too bad. The Bone Magi are the true final bosses of this game. Well, hold on, let me put on some cool robes too. Yeah, ooh, look at that, that's a sh oof. Some pimp robes. Cool. You found a way back. Does this mean... Yep. You did it. You defeated him. Then you have it. You have the Amulet of Kings. Yep. Belongs to me. The Amulet of Kings. What are you, stupid? So you and Joffrey have said. If it is true... If the Emperor really was my father, then I should be able to wear it. Only those of the Septim blood can wear the Amulet of Kings. Yeah, I'm not sure if they ever say what it does if you, like, like if you're not and you try to put it on, does it just, like, is there a barrier of putting it over your head, or does it kill you, or... Yes, of course. What am I waiting for? After all, this is my destiny. And no man can deny his destiny. There you go. I didn't really need the amulet to tell me that. I've known it was true since you first told me him back in Kavach. But it is one thing to talk of becoming emperor. And quite another to actually be the emperor. Not yet. Until we light the dragon fires, the gates are open and Mehrun's Dagon's invasion continues. While you were gone, I sent a messenger to Chancellor Ricardo. He waits for us in the Imperial City. 
Uh huh. Chancellor Ricardo is the head of the Elder Council. The Council rules in the Emperor's absence. I don't expect any objections from the Elder Council, but we should defer to their authority. Let's go to the Imperial City at once, before the enemy can recover from Manka Cameron's death. Sure! Why not finish the game? That's what we're all about. <clears throat> Um, I don't remember how hard this final section is. I know you have to escort him through, like, the burning city. Um, I don't, I don't know. I guess we should probably recharge the staff, right? That would, that would probably be worth it. <laughs> Crash the game. They did not want me killing that Balawag. <sighs> but not when uh, not when we're so close. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Yes, please. Porphyric hemophilia is known as the vampire disease. Yeah, it's... It's not really known as the vampire disease. Well, I guess in Elder Scrolls it is, but porphyria or whatever is like... A really different disease in real life. The, the reasoning that it like became associated with vampires is, is pretty funny. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Yes. I, and I said I wasn't going to use the staff much. Don't you crash on me. Okay, that's probably good, right? 28 uses, it will be fine. Um, I don't have to actually walk you all the way there, do I? All the way there, are you kidding me? All the way there, across the region? No way, no way. Yeah. You have to escort, but I mean, there's fast travel, right? Hold on. We we can just we'll just fast travel there. We'll go right to the palace. There you go. See, we're all good. Yeah. So I, Porphyria, I guess uh, I've already kind of forgotten, even though I looked at it like a few days ago. But I think for Porphyria, like they're missing. Some enzyme or something like that in their blood when they get this disease. And so some guy thought that they would like... <laughs> people that had this disease uh, would try to drink other people's blood in order to get, like, replenished in this enzyme. I guess. I, I, I don't know. That's not how much works. We have to, so, I think for this quest, what happens is, like, Mehrun's Dagon shows up. He's like, all right, fuck all this little gates and shit. I, I'm, we're just going to show up and take over the whole city. Um, and so the whole city's, like, burning and covered in Daedra and stuff. And uh, you have to bring Martin to, like, that, uh, that, like, courtyard full of statues with Talos in there. And that's when he does the big thing. Where is Martin? I was told that he had arrived in the capital. He was right behind me. He was right behind me. What is he doing? 
Come get your ass moving! I've been expecting you. The full council has already considered the matter of Martin's claim to the Imperial throne in detail. Mm hmm. Martin Septon, on behalf of the Elder Council, I accept your claim to the Imperial throne. We should. Chancellor O'Connor, the city is under attack. Oblivion gates have opened, and Daedra are inside the walls. <laughs> the guard is overwhelmed. Courage, soldier. We have an Emperor again. Your Highness, it's just so funny of a plot point, right? Like, you spend the whole game, like, destabilizing his efforts in order to invade Tamriel. Like, you're closing gates, you close a great gate, you get the Amulet of Kings back, you're fucking his shit up all over the place, and then all of a sudden it's just like, oh, he's invaded the entire Imperial City and covered it in gates and Daedra. And it's just like, okay. Like, they were just looking for, like, some grand final conflict and they like ran out of time or something like it just seems so weird to me um but here we are so what does it say we got to do here imperial city is under attack blah 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 i must escort martin safely to the temple of the one where he can light the dragon fires all right let's go this is the the final sequence of the of the main quest Shit, man, what the? We must get to the temple. Drive them back. I mean, I'll do what I can. That's a rare clan fear. Kicking my ass. They're like velociraptors, man, what the? <laughs> Martin has been slain. All hope is now lost. I think this is going to be really tricky then, um, because this is a strong force, um, and Martin is in his robes now, it's flipping around with a dagger in the horde of Daedra. I really don't think I can do much to protect him. I think I just have to use the staff and just try and kill stuff. Jesus. That is an overwhelming force. I mean, I hope I'm drawing some attention here. But, oh man. I mean, I'm a glass cannon. And my staff is really... I mean, you saw it just fuck up that other area. But this is no joke. Look at those blue dudes. No joke. This is an excessive amount of staff usage. I think that's our best bet. Um, is luring them with the staff over to the right area where we get like a contingent of more forces what the what was that Sorry. I can't... I can't kill everything and protect him. Because he stays over to the left for some reason. Because he's such a dumbass. Stay in the building, you asshole. He's really probably the dumbest emperor that Cyrodiil has ever had. He also has the shortest reign in the history of the throne. Which pff, makes sense to me. Oh. 
I mean, I hope there's not, like, another pack of these. My staff is not going to hold out. Martin. Martin, you dumb shithole. Stay back. God damn it, he's so stupid. I hate him. I hate him. Oh shit! I quick saved right before he died. That's bad. Yep, that's bad. All right, well we're going back. <sighs> shit, I was I was hopeful for that. We had wiped out most stuff, but Martin Septim is the dumbest character in any Elder Scrolls game. You heard it here first. I mean, if you can offer me a contender for someone dumber, I'd love to hear it. But very few characters have the fate of the world in their hands. Alright. Good. Dude, my staff... Seven uses. I, I have to recharge it. What are your orders? I need to get to the Temple of the One. <laughs> They're just discussing the fate of the Emperor Empire and I'm over here doing like weird necromancy and shit. They're all just looking at me. There you go. Alright. Okay, we're good to go. Look at him, he's in his robes with a dagger. It's just so stupid. <laughs> oh, gosh. Oh, God. Martin, Martin, please. Martin. Oh yeah, that's right. I can't die either, of course. I think that's actually not the important one. I think we want to go in this direction. You all good, Martin? You doing your flips? As long as you're flip- Whoa, you got a sword now. That's good. I don't know where he got an upgrade, but all right. We're too late. Mayroon's Dagon is here. Lighting the dragon fires will no longer save us. The barriers that protected us from oblivion are gone. Well, if you would just, like, let me carry you on my back and we run through... See how mortal weapons may hurt him, but now that he is physically here in Tamriel, they have no power to actually destroy him. Wait, yes, the amulet was given to mortals by Akatosh, it contains his divine power. 
But how to use this power against Dagon? The amulet was not intended as a weapon. I have an idea, one last hope. I must reach the Dragonfires and the Temple of the One. You'll just have to trust me. I know now what I was born to do, but I'll need your help. I have to get past Merun's Dagon somehow. I'll get you there. And I'll do the rest. Lead on, my friend. Okay, follow me. I'm with you. But don't attack anything in sight. And just follow me. Martin? Mar Martin! Oh, now that I'm dead, he puts his sword away. Job's done. So there's Mayrun's Dagon. He seems pretty pissed. Oh, Martin is actually following me. Like a good boy. This seems to be an, a non-functioning wooden door. Where am I trying to go? <laughs> this way? We'll, we'll get there, Martin. Don't worry. I don't remember the way. Hold on. Let me look. Let me look. It's not this way. Oh, it's... Inside? Oh, you want to go inside? Well, you should have said that. We were like five feet from the door. Here you go. Uh, there you go. There. I don't know what the big deal was with Mayrun's Dagon. He just. Uh, okay. I do what I must do. I cannot stay to rebuild Tamriel. That task falls to others. Farewell. You've been a good friend in the short time that I've known you. You're a dumbass. The dragon waits. Yes, yeah, I know I'm supposed to be all sympathetic for his heroic sacrifice, but this is his own fault. We could have easily gotten here in time if he wasn't so stupid. So I got no sympathy for Martin Septim and the shortest reign in the history of Cyrodiil. He doesn't even fight properly as a dragon. You got wings, man. You can fly up in the air and just breathe fire on him until he dies. Well, that'll do it. You got a weird foot, though. See, they, they, you know, Bethesda did this, and then they're like, maybe we should put some dragons in our games. <laughs> and they're like, ah, how, how do we bring back dragons? Dagon is defeated. With the dragon's blood and the amulet of kings, we have sealed the gates of oblivion forever. The last of the Septims passes now into history. I go gladly. For I know my sacrifice is not in vain. I take my place with my father and my father's fathers. The third age has ended and a new age dawns. When the next Elder Scroll is written, you shall be its scribe. The shape of the future, the fate of the Empire. These things now belong to you wait what when the next elder scroll is written you shall be its scribe what does that mean what happened where's mart what it, what does that mean mayrun's dagon is defeated cast back into oblivion we've won he's gone what do you mean gone i we killed him. the temple dome explode the avatar of akatosh appear that was martin I suppose there is a connection, yes. The joined blood of kings and gods. The amulet of kings. The divine power of Akatosh. Uh-huh. Then Martin is gone. 
That's what I said. Yes, sealed forever. Merun's Dagon and his ilk can never threaten Tamriel again. Tamriel Martin is dead, but he died an emperor and a hero to rival Tiber Septim. Oh, whoa, whoa! This victory is not without cost. We've lost Martin Septim. What an emperor he might have made. Probably the worst one ever. His sacrifice was necessary, but it leaves the empire without an emperor. Oh yeah. I don't know what happens now. There are troubled times ahead for the empire. <laughs> well, it's probably gonna be like the same last the three times Let's you didn't have an emperor. Thanks that we're alive. Great. The dragon will stand forever as a memorial to what you and Martin did for all of Tem. You mean me? Just, just me. Alright, and that wraps it up. And so that wraps up the main quest for Oblivion. So, Elder Scrolls 4. I guess I would say it's better than Morrowind. From my perspective of just pre-playing through these games. Um... And I know that I'm modding each game, but that's part of the experience. Like, that's the part of what makes a game better or not is modability and, you know, how the community that's put work into it and, and how good the game possibly can be. That's, that's part of it. I'm not judging the vanilla experience. Um, I would say Oblivion is better. Aesthetically... It's very different. Um, it's a completely different flavor, really. Um, Oblivion is much more traditional fantasy. No, I don't give a shit. I'm talking. Um, you know, Oblivion is much more traditional fantasy in style. You have green grass fields. You've got mountains. You've got rivers and waterfalls and lush trees and flowers and... Uh, the architecture is very sort of traditional Roman type medieval style and all that. It's meant to evoke a lot of those types of thoughts. Um, whereas Morrowind is very alien and very distinct because of its sort of alienness. Um, so I think story wise, I think Morrowind has a beat. Um,. Although main quest-wise, <laughs> um, Oblivion was probably a bit more entertaining as far as just the quests were concerned. Uh, Morrowind gets bogged down a lot with all of the the great houses and the tri the camps and all that. that it's just kind of bothersome. Um, whereas Oblivion feels a bit more kind of just structured and. and there are some bothersome quests as well, but I never felt really just annoyed by what I was doing, I guess. Um, some of, like, Miss Karkand or whatever whatever that place is called, the Alien Ruin, that's just kind of like, all right, here's a big dungeon. Go into the big dungeon. There's nothing really special about it. There's no, like, real interesting features in that dungeon compared to any other dungeon. It's just a big dungeon. Um, so there's still some weak parts. Um, but there's nothing really annoying. So, story-wise, Morrowind's better, but main quest-wise, I think Oblivion's better. Um, spells... Yeah, I would definitely give it in Oblivion's favor. Um, more spell effects, um... And again, this is a mod thing, but the, the buffs were more useful, and overall magic just felt more interesting to me in Oblivion than Morrowind. Morrowind was pretty much just used death spell over and over. Um, here, it's just, I guess, get a good staff. Uh, but, you know, there's, there's more options, I felt. Um, yeah, overall, I, I guess Oblivion was just... A more enjoyable experience than Morrowind. Not that I dislike Morrowind. Uh, I wouldn't say it's vastly superior, but to me it was superior. Um, so up to this point, I would say Oblivion is the best 
Elder Scrolls game. They, there's just been improvements every step of the way, which is awesome. That's that's how it should be, I guess. Um, where a series continually gets better over time, ignoring nostalgia and all that. It, they just continue to make improvements to the system and the world and all that. Um, so next is Skyrim, which, of course, I have a ri I've played. Many of you have seen me play it. Uh, I've beaten. Many of you probably saw me beat it. Um, but we're going to mod the hell out of it. Um, get it as good as it can be, I suppose. Try and get it to be stable. And we'll see how Skyrim compares to the rest of them. Um, again, from a specifically a magic perspective. Um, and we'll see if it continues the trend of being uh, better than the last, which would make it the best Elder Scrolls game. What a controversial opinion. Actually, I don't know if that's controversial. Um, controversial, it was saying uh, Arena is the best Elder Scrolls game. But that's going to wrap us up for today. With uh, the avatar of Akatosh right there. My name is Mang. Game you just finished watching is Elder Scrolls IV Oblivion on the PC. And I'll see you fine folks in Skyrim.